hi my loves thank you so much for visiting my channel i hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day you guys i have an urgent message for you i've been receiving um a download for a few days now but it really really just hit me hard i just stopped everything to sit down and hop into this um some of you there's someone that is watching you and they have been watching you for quite some time one thing I want you guys to keep in mind is that, you know, we always say new levels, new devils. Whenever you start to shift into a higher level of consciousness, um, greater self-awareness, whenever there's good things coming to you, you can expect there to be some type of giant that you have to slay. There is, for some of you, you know, this could be something that is ancestral. It could be a generational curse. It's something, though, that it's like it's it's following you. Um I'm actually hearing, what song is this? You remind me of a girl that I want to see your face whenever I, I love at you. Wouldn't believe all of the things she put me through. This is why I just can't get with you. Okay. For some of you, somebody is completely obsessed with you. Maybe you remind them of someone or th this is almost the energy of like a serial killer. Is that's that's what I'm getting. Okay. Somebody here is being targeted. Okay. Energy is fluid. This could be past, present, or future. I really feel though with the urgency of this message and the fact that I'm I'm nearly shaking something has been revealed to you or it will be revealed to you very very soon for some of you okay and if this is not your story it's not your story but maybe this could be someone that you know take it however it resonates somebody is obsessed with you okay but there's multiple energies I, i've been you know getting messages and, and visions and everything else there's several people involved in this situation some of you you could have recently met somebody and they could remind you a lot of someone from your past. And if you haven't met them and they come into your life, be very mindful. Somebody here is dealing with a very, very, very skilled shapeshifter. Some of you are going to find yourself in a situation where you're talking to somebody and you're going to realize that you see that body there, but it's literally the... They they have the energetic signature of somebody that you know. Somebody has run out of options, and I feel like they could be doing high level magic. Okay, and I mean this is very very high level magic. They may not be doing them themselves, but they could absolutely be paying somebody to do this. Somebody is trying to do everything in their power to either get you back, or it's like if they can't have you, nobody can have you. Okay, this is a very very serious matter. You don't need to be scared, um, but you need to be aware, okay? Because, yeah, somebody, somebody here is just like, I don't know if somebody is stuck on you because you remind them of some, oh my God, look at that. The Emperor and the Seven of Swords. Dang. This is somebody, this could be like a masculine for somebody, okay? Male or female, but somebody here has a plan, you guys. This right here, it, this person could be a person of, of authority. They have a plan. Like somebody is trying to to do something, and and this plan. Look at oh my god! Y'all just saw me shuffling the cards. You have the seven of swords here, the magician, the six of swords, and the two of wands. Yeah, be careful because for some of you, look at this right here. Look. The Emperor, the Seven of Wands, the Death card, and the Hierophant with the Star. Five of Swords and the Devil. That's that's it. That's everything right there. That's, that's the whole story. I'm not making this long. This is just going to be an urgent message. Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, Ace of Wands. What is, what's behind all of this? This drama that's happening here is the fact that many of you, you have finally done something in your life there's a spirit guide an angel an ancestor here that has been protecting you all of us are assigned our own spiritual team you have a spirit guide an angel ancestor that is watching you i do feel um i talked about this in a, a reading recently about monitoring spirits you some of you you have 
these monitoring spheres that are not good. There, the people are sending dark energy entities or whatever to you. Depending on your level of discernment, you may or may not know it. But for everything that is being sent to you that is bad, you still have heavy, heavy protection with this hermit card here. Okay, but the Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Cups here, some of you right now, you're you're very passionate about something. You have a brand new beginning. You could be in this creative mode. The Six of Wands with the Ace of Wands here is saying that you have the Midas touch. You could have a platform. You don't have to. Um, you could be thinking about creating some type of platform, but this has a lot to do also with like your soul tribe, your friends, your family. You're building or creating this very healthy, happy, harmonious life or lifestyle for yourself. And I feel like it's something that that is being shown publicly. This has really pissed somebody off, I feel. The Four of Cups. Somebody could have made, tried to decide that, you know, they were going to apologize to you, come in with some type of offer, someone who betrayed you. Like, this person really, really betrayed you, okay? And now, somebody is having a wake-up call because it is now public, I feel, that you're doing extremely well for yourself. Somebody has gone on some type of slander campaign, okay, and they've tried to blind other people. They, it's like somebody is trying to hide the truth about who you are. And, yeah, like somebody fires shots and it's all backfiring. Yeah, somebody for sure. Look, look at that. I just said backfiring. The tower card is here. The three of cups. Somebody fired a lot of shots. And I think that some of you right now, you could be celebrating or being celebrated. You have a brand new beginning here. This person cannot touch you. And so now some of you need to be careful because someone could be trying to come in now and offer you something. And again, check the energy because like I said, you may look at somebody like, wow, you really remind me of somebody else. Be careful of, these are messengers, pages, nights, messengers. Be careful of messages and things like that that's coming in i would say a lot of people you probably need to reset your your passwords and devices somebody is watching you heavily okay in in, in the dark somebody i don't know if someone is trying to hide something for somebody this could be someone who hid a marriage from you um, somebody doesn't want you to see that you have a union or a partnership that's coming to you. But also some of you need to be very careful just about your home and your surroundings, especially like at night. Somebody here is juggling, I feel. They have some type of plan or tactic or strategy somehow to get you caught up. Okay. And honestly, the word that I'm really hearing is to get you sacrificed. Okay. You have this king of cups here, knight of swords. Yeah, somebody here is rushing in. And oh my goodness, somebody is rushing in. This King of Cups and this King of Pentacles have been coming out in readings a lot lately. I don't know if these two people are competing to go towards someone or if these two people are working together. Well, maybe they worked together in the past, but for some reason with this Seven of Pentacles here and this King of Pentacles, somebody feels like they're on their last leg. Like they they know that they're running out of time. And so I don't, I don't know if this person... This King of Pentacles perhaps is sending somebody else to come in to I'm here to woo you because they're trying to hurt, harm you, or sabotage you in some type of way. Yeah, somebody somebody is rushing in and they could definitely be using magic. Somebody here is using um I don't know. They could be doing something in the dream state, astral projection, remote viewing. Somebody is doing something for sure, though, to watch you and to monitor you. The temperance card here. You may be an earth angel or consider yourself, but there is an alchemist here. Somebody here. This is this other person. There's the person coming in towards you who sees you as an earth angel. They they see you as someone very beautiful and divine. This is someone that you may meet while traveling or they're communicating with you or they're new to your area. You're new to that. There's something here about movement and travel. Somebody is coming towards you, though. Um but I feel like the part, it's almost like, it's its really weird what I'm seeing right now. The person that's coming towards you, they don't, they don't know you personally, but they know a lot about you. And see, that's the thing. I don't understand what's happening here when it comes to this King of Pentacles and this King of Cups. I don't know if these two people, like I said, if they know each other, if they're in cahoots, I believe that, um, 
the dream clairvoyant you guys know is like my soul sis she's been talking about this as well and i'm picking up on it very strongly with this three of swords here i, I feel like these two people either they know each other or they're very very something about them is very similar and that may be why i'm hearing that song you remind me of a girl i used to know yeah see her face whenever i look at you or he she whatever these two people something about them is very similar but i feel like just like here you have the devil out here and it was next to the hierophant a minute ago one of these people is good and one of them is bad you really don't know exactly who to trust though because for one the new person they're new you don't know them the past person you thought you knew them but they're a fake they're a fraud they're they're up to no good i feel too if these if this is two people who know each other if say for instance if and y'all listen we can try to act like these things don't happen but it does like let's say for instance if someone purposely tried to send someone to you with ill intentions or something like that the person that they've sent towards you actually really likes you wants to be with you wants to take a leap of faith with you i don't think that you feel as though you can trust either one of these people but i'm telling you somebody is coming towards you with an offer um the reading that i did yesterday or the day before i was saying some of you are about to receive a major major offer i mean like somebody is coming in and they're like i want to marry you i want to have kids with you this person could could be for they could be a foreigner you could be whatever the case is but it's a major offer it's like it's game time right now i feel like there's this major like there's this war that's happening right now and it's it's really for a divine feminine the divine feminine could be male or female there's the a divine feminine energy here though where it's literally these two people you have the devil and god here Okay, you have the devil and God here. You have a king of cups and a king of pentacles. A few weeks ago, we kept seeing the king of swords coming out. Okay, the king of swords though, both of these energies, these masculine energies could have that king of swords energy because this is someone who is very, very analytical, very smart. Okay. This is, a oh my God, I just, death. Somebody wants to end you queen of cups is very intuitive a dreamer an empath he very healing three of pentacles I, ace of swords the world the star the seven of cups the seven of swords the eight of pentacles the nine of pentacles this is something where you need to be very careful Somebody here wants to knock somebody off their high horse, so to speak. Somebody here wants, so, someone sees someone who has healed from the heartbreak and the pain that they put them through and is now very um, prosperous and abundant. Here's the nine of pentacles and it's out here twice. I just talked about this. Literally the reading that I did yesterday, I believe I said so your, past, your joy brings your past great sorrow. Somebody is so obsessed and pissed off about the fact that you are happy that you're moving forward and that you have some major, major blessing or opportunity coming into your life that they're not, they, it's like somebody wants to ruin you. There's no other way to put, this is a very clear message, very clear and then the three of pentacles is here with the ace of swords and the world. Yeah, somebody here sees, I feel that you you don't want to work with them. So because you don't want to work with them or because you now are striving and thriving and you're doing well and it does not include them, okay? This person is now working overtime to create illusions and confusion to somehow get you, you caught up and stuck. Queen of pentacles and the high priestess. Listen, if you are some type of spiritual guide, teacher, guru, or something like that, be careful because I feel somebody here um, with that queen of cups, the high priestess, and now the queen of pentacles is out here. Someone here is very, very intuitive, very smart, very intelligent. You see this high priestess here with the laptop. 
this is someone and again with the, the star card has come out twice this is someone here who could could their healing it transforms the lives of many people somebody out here is like devastated they're regretful because Perhaps they didn't follow your guidance. They didn't want to listen to you. Or again, like I said, this person went out and they told a lot of people that you were fake, you were phony, you were not to be trusted or something like that. Somebody now is dealing with a lot of regret, okay? Because their plot plans and strategies to ruin you, to destroy you, it didn't work. It only made you stronger, okay? And now that you are in this, I mean, the star and this temperance energy, your healing has has like made you better than ever yeah the fool it's like you have a brand new beginning you you get to move on and be happy six of cups and the hangman somebody from the past is trying to get you caught up somebody from the past is trying to sacrifice you and this is because this person from the past most likely has had some type of epiphany about who you are what this connection is and they see they're sick or, and they want you to be sick because they realize now that they missed out on the biggest opportunity. Somebody here, it's like you're destined to be a star. You're destined to be a healer. You're, you're going to be well known or something like that. Um, I've been talking about this for almost a year. It's, it's the, the lady with the golden womb here. Somebody is a, a master manifester. You may not even realize the power that you have, but you are. You're a master manifester. And what I'm seeing with all of these energies coming towards this one person, you, whoever I'm talking, like, you don't realize how powerful you are. That's the first thing. But it seems almost like this is some type of spell or curse because it's you are targeted. I mean, this is like, you need security because I feel that everybody that comes towards you, you're their dream person. They, they want something that you have. Whoever I'm talking to, you may not know what it is that you have, though. Like, that's what I'm getting. There's some type of confusion. There's this confusion. There's an illusion here. You don't you don't know what something is, but everybody around you, they, they see it. They know it. And I talked about this a few weeks ago about people even trying to invade your dreams and stuff like that. It's like somebody has been hiding from you like your own truth. But I feel like you're stripping down and you're discovering with this high priestess here, you have some type of hidden knowledge or information that you're starting to crack into. And it's, it's most likely bringing you a lot of stability and, and abundance. OK, this has a lot to do with spiritual gifts. And yeah, look, the Hierophant. The three of wands. See, a lot of you, too, in this high priestess energy, you may be waiting on a divine counterpart to come towards you as well. Yeah. And somebody wants you stuck. Somebody also may want you to stay stuck waiting on them. This person could actually be married, committed, or um, this person, they don't agree with who you are, who you are becoming spiritually or something like that. Yeah. Nine of swords. This is somebody here. Somebody is trying to do everything in their power to keep you stuck and to block you. Because they know for a sure fact that your true counterpart is coming in. This is not just an emperor and an empress coming together. This is a high priestess and a hierophant coming together. This is a spiritual divine union between two people who both may be um, like spiritual guides, teachers. This is a very, very, very high level soulmate. It, it goes beyond just an emperor and an empress. These two people have knowledge ancient wisdom and hidden knowledge this is exactly what you are expecting and somebody is trying to keep you stuck because they are stuck right now page of swords they're stuck and they're they're watching you they're spying on you non-stop eight of wands this person is watching you so that they can figure out perhaps how to rush towards you but this person, they actually want to come towards you with vengeance in their heart, most likely to, to break your heart. Somebody feels like if they can break your heart, then it's going to crush your spirit and you won't be as strong. And if you're not as strong, then you won't actually go towards this high level soulmate, divine counterpart connection, or just be in union with yourself and continue to elevate and evolve. Yeah, here we are, the emperor. What else is here? And the six of wands. Yeah. What I tell you guys, some of you, you have someone who is 
<laughs> Listen, major coming towards you. Six of Wands, some of you, I'm telling you, it's three, I kid you not, it's 3.33 p.m. right now. You have a person that's coming into your life. This person, I have been talking about this for six months. You can check my channel messages, the High Priestess and the Emperor. Some of you, this may not be your twin. It may be a very high-level soulmate, but it's an actual divine counterpart. The high priestess and the emperor are coming together. This is a successful union that's coming together. That it cannot be stopped. But this person from the past, here's this king of cups, knight of cups. This king of cups is coming in with this offer. And guess what? Who does the king of cups go with? The queen of cups. This is someone that you have a very, very deep, intimate, emo like there is synergy between these two people. You and the you and this person, you're 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 one of the same. I don't care what title you want to give to it. Twin flame, summer, it doesn't matter. You and this person, and I think a lot of you have turned your back on someone and you are now taking your cup of love and you're willing to give it to this king of cups. But see, the king of cups is the same person that came out earlier with this king of pentacles. And that's the thing that to me, you know, everyone's situation is different. You're, you're dropping a burden here. You're no longer going to deal with there's someone in your life that you're not dealing with. It could be the king of pentacles, king of cups. It doesn't matter. Someone you're choosing not to deal with that person. Yeah, you're walking away from him. You're walking away from because you are the empress. You realize now that you do not have to deal with this person from your past that continuously breaks your heart. And your ancestors are saying, yes, I'm giving you the green light. Go. If you don't move, they're moving you. Because there's something better. But six of pentacles, you want a reciprocal relationship. King of Wands, someone out there is pissed off. They are upset. They are angry because you have finally tapped into your own worth and you want something that's reciprocal. You don't want a one-sided relationship with the devil. You don't. Whatever cord that you had at some point that kept you attached to this person, it's no longer there or you're working on it. Could definitely be an earth sign. Someone where um, Taurus, Capricorn is very heavy and Scorpio. Yeah, and then here's the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. To me, King of Cups usually represents Scorpio, someone very mysterious. But somebody could have Taurus, Capricorn, and Scorpio heavily aspected in their chart. Okay, um, this person is, is angry. This person is upset. Because you see your worth and you're choosing now to allow this new offer to come in. But the, the, the big plot twist to this situation is the person that's coming into your life, and I've talked about this in the past, they could be the same sign as this person from your past. They could have the same name, the same birthday. It's something about these two people that is so similar. And I feel like you're very confused. Another person. Another uh, somewhat of a problem in this situation is these two people could know each other. They, these two people, they've been coming out together for months now. They have to know each other. Th there's a connection between them. It has to be. And lately in the readings, there's so much stuff coming out about um, like, business and people being stars and and hidden things and even foreign affairs i don't this could be two men who've done business together at some point i don't i don't know let me say this too spirit just stopped me right in my tracks the way that whoever this king of cups is that's coming towards you the way this person knows you the way they want you their strong desire for you Whoever these people are, see, when you're a high priestess like this, this high priestess empress energy, you will attract a lot of people who are very spiritual as well. It's just the energy that you carry. A lot of you now are, are starting to attract your soul family. You will notice that everybody that you attract, they have spiritual gifts or you, you're in alignment right now, right? So some of you, you have, you've got an angel and you've got a demon, around you two two different people i feel two different men you know they could know each other maybe they don't one wants wants you because of money they want you because of some type of status they want to rob steal kill and destroy the other one really loves you i feel or they want to show you but i feel like the one that really loves you they are aware of what has happened 
with someone from your past. This could be because this person is very spiritual. There's a, a feminine out here who's dealing with at least two masculines and both of these masculines are very spiritual they're fighting for you in the spirit realm i've i've had so many messages about this please you can go back i told you guys months ago some of you have a divine masculine who has been protecting you and fighting for you in the spirit realm you may not have ever even met this person I feel like this is the person that God, your your guys and your ancestors has, has chosen for you. This person is, for some of you, manifesting now in the 3D because the heat is, is on with this past person. This past person, for some of you, is so obsessed. They're so evil and conniving that it's like... Your ancestors are moving you away, but they're they're making sure that this new person that you're supposed to be with, they have to show up now because for some of you, this person is going to literally have to, to save you from this past person. It, it's like it, this person is like an earth angel. And I said to you guys in the reading that I did, I believe yesterday, do not judge a book by its cover. Please do not judge every book by its cover. I don't care what certain situations look like. There's a lot of confusion here. I said, don't judge the book by its cover because someone is coming into your life and they're going to play a huge part in your life. Every single thing that you do down to the minute can literally, it, it could be a life and death situation. You answering a phone call and taking a, a, a right turn instead of a left turn can change your life. This is a kind, something that right now, it's down to the wire. This past person is so mad, jealous, and envious right now that this, this loving person is now coming in like, wait a minute, let me hurry up and find this empress. Some of you may meet somebody and you may feel like, like this person, like they just fell out of the sky almost. That person has been sent, I feel, by, by God to protect you. And it may, it may not be someone that you end up with. It may not be the ideal situation. But I'm telling you, there's someone entering your life right now that you may need to be careful with just pushing them away. But I'm telling you also, the story of this, the, the backstory of this person, it may be shocking. Because I feel like the person that's coming into your life who may actually help you, protect you, or even give you a huge offer... They are somehow connected to a person from your past. It's something about these two masculines that's the same. And I keep picking up this Taurus energy. And I know one of the last Taurus readings that I did, I was saying that somebody here is trying to resolve like 10 different lifetimes of karma in this year. This is something like past life. It's a curse. It's. This, like the devil is, is on your heels right now. But th there's a, a past lover here. I'm telling you, this person is shape-shifting. This person is doing sacrifices. They're paying. This person is doing a lot. And for some of you, this person, they could be wealthy. They could be well off. They know it. They, listen, I'm just telling you, oh my God, I just looked over. The card down here, this card is not even a deck that I use. I just started using this deck a few days ago. But what does it say? lighthouse and warning beware make a do a detour oh my gosh obstacle to avoid there's somebody in your life that you need to avoid like they are a plague do you hear me and i feel strongly it, it's for many of you it's a person from the past but the the crazy thing is you may run into a new person and it may remind you of a person from the past. Another thing to consider is if you run into someone and you pick up that they're just like someone from your past, you may not. I know this is this is a little confusing because I literally just said, don't judge a book by its cover. You're going to have to be discerning because you can meet someone from the past. I mean, a new person that is just like the person from the past. And the reason why I say be careful is because the past person is a is a very skilled shapeshifter. You will know the energy. You should be very discerning. So let me try to make it more clear. 
you may know that there's a past person who's been trying to block your love life and is obsessed with you okay they could be trying to send someone in to get you back hurt or harm you or they could even be shape-shifting I did a reading I said well the karmic is trying to shape shift and play like they are your twin now a lot of you when you hear karmic you automatically think about the partner of someone you're in separation with but some of you don't realize that you the person you're calling your twin flame is actually a very karmic past life soulmate they could be sending somebody in towards you and you like pretty much shape-shifting so that they can get around you and get information so be mindful yeah yeah some of you even if the person is your twin they're evil they are low down and dirty do you hear me this person is 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 spiritually gifted or they are paying somebody i'm telling you this person is monitoring you spiritually and they may even be sending someone around you to try to get information or to figure out how they can get closer to you I just wouldn't trust this this person or this energy but on the flip side you guys okay I, I got it now there's three people here you have a person from the past I feel like you have another person that's possibly in your energy or coming towards you that reminds you of a person from the past and then there's still another person that is in your energy or coming into your energy I don't know you got you'll be able to or you should be able to discern what's happening in this situation um because it's, it's a lot of different energies coming out here yeah look at that chariot <laughs> four of pentacles and the queen of swords somebody is like you're not moving forward somebody is is literally th these cards just say no you're not moving forward i'm gonna hold on to you forever you're not moving forward Mm -mm. look at this page of cups somebody is coming in so you some of you have already met somebody they're coming in the offer it's an offer again don't judge the book by its cover because it may be a small offer this may be something that just got started it could simply be a text message phone call email from someone new this past person is rushing in to block this brand new beginning what is the new beginning ace of wands and the two of cups somebody wants you to feel rejected because perhaps you rejected them but they always rejected you so the tables have completely turned here but look at how crazy this is four of cups the knight of wands and the lovers right what do we just have here? The four of cups, you still have somebody rushing in. This It's two or three people in your energy right now. Somebody here who is in and out. Hold on. Before I say that, because I'm just thinking, some of you, you could be connected with somebody and there's an age difference. For some reason, this Knight of Wands, this is someone who is, who is coming in who is very intentional, I feel. But then you have this Knight of Swords here, too, who's rushing in, I feel, to... What are they doing, Spirit? Mm-mm. Okay, I got it. This Knight of Swords person, this person, I feel, is rushing in. This is someone you might have recently connected with. Remember I, I said, or you will be. This person is rushing in because they want to protect you. You very well could have an opportunity to have a brand new beginning with this person. This is what the past person is trying to block. This past person is here. The past person is this really angry, aggressive knight of wands. They don't care about the consequences. They feel like you're their person and they want you to choose them. But you're rejecting this person. So both of these people are rushing in as knights. One is rushing in to protect you. One is rushing in and they're willing to go so far as to hurt you if you do not choose them. Look at what we have here. Five of swords. This is, this is, a, this is a battle. This is a war over this empress. Because this empress has turned her back or his back and is moving on to victory and success. There's a lot that's, being, that's happening here in the background. 
the moon. There's a lot that's hidden. But I'll tell you one thing. Everything that is hidden is being exposed. I think even whoever is doing black magic, that's also being exposed. Somebody's plan is completely backfiring. And someone now is running scared because they're just like, wait a minute. They thought like somebody did everything that they possibly could. For somebody here, this was a major sacrifice. I don't know what type of sacrifice or ritual or whatever this is that was happening, but somebody was like, it has to work this time. And it has a lot to do with timing. Somebody wants to come in and, and have something or do something with you. But they, it's like, there was a person in your life who could have done this with you, but they chose not to. This could be a seven or eight year cycle. But now look. You're turning your, what did I just say? There, there it is, the will. You're turning your back to the past. You're not interested in this reconciliation with somebody because there's a much bigger and better offer here that is, is part of your destiny. But somebody wants you to be stuck, confused, and at a crossroads and blind, and it is the devil. The devil who keeps trying to juggle you, there's that king of swords, five of wands, five of pentacles. This is a low down, dirty person. I'm telling you, like some of you, you don't realize you've been in love with the devil himself calling that person your twin flame or whatever this person is so upset now that you want to move forward and i think that a lot of you now you may be trying to balance like your work life um career work work life balance or whatever and you also could be entertaining someone new this person is so mean envious jealous bitter and just this person is calculated though because i'm telling you somebody is coming in look knight of pentacles and I'm t this keeps coming up for some somebody here. There's an age difference between you and someone. You could be meeting someone that's much older than you, or you could be older than the next person that you choose to be with. This person is coming in, and I'm telling you, you're oh my, y'all listen. I cannot. Your ancestors is just like yes. Whoever this is, you see the Ace of Cups, the Judgment, the Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. Oh, this is marriage. Like the heavens above are, are singing like, oh yeah, this, listen, this is wish fulfillment that's coming. Temperance, that's that angel card. But look, you have two big angels out here. Judgment and temperance, two big angels are out here with the ten of pentacles and the four of wands. Some of you have been saying that this karmic soulmate is your twin flame. No, 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 no. That is a very, yeah, it's a past life karmic soulmate that's the devil. Your real twin flame divine counterpart is coming in. And I'm telling you, every single angel that has watched and covered you your entire life are totally in agreement with you being with this person. You right now are receiving an offer from someone and it is exactly what you've been trying to manifest. The worst is over, but you have someone that is watching you. You're moving forward. You're taking action. You're just like, okay, I get it. I've gone through a bunch of hell, but the worst is over. Virgo, something, listen, we have the, um, is it the full, full, see, this is what's going on, right? Let me tell you, y'all know every time these moon cycles come around, people start doing their magic. Whoever this person is that is connected to your past, and let me say this, it could be that person or it could be someone that they are with because I did see the queen of wands. It doesn't matter who it is. A lot of you just don't don't deal with the past at all because it doesn't matter if it's them doing it or someone that they're connected to that's doing it. We have a full moon in Virgo coming up March 18th. People are already getting started with these rituals. Some of you, I've been telling y'all since like August of last year, this spring, you're going to meet your person. Some of you within the last maybe two weeks or going into maybe May of this year, you're going to meet the person that most likely you're going to spend the rest of your life with. I'm, I'm telling you, mark my words. Y'all, I don't lie. <laughs> you got, you can check, you can check the messages and, and your own confirmations. Somebody is watching you. And they have been watching you. And they are planning now to come in to try to stop you from having this justice. And for many of you, your justice is for you to finally just be completely happy. The worst is over. You could be seeing 1010. 
Everything is fine. With every sword in your back, spirit is saying, but it's okay. You're fine because, listen, Ten of Cups, it's yours. It's justice. Somebody is, I'm telling you, somebody is so mad that, like, you finally escaped whatever this is. There is very heavy Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio energy out here. Somebody is furious. I just, I'm telling you, it's, it's something, um about these two masculines though i just feel like they may not know each other here in like the three somebody has been watching you spiritually i mean like if it's truly your twin flame you don't have to have ever met them for them they, they know you this person knows you i'm telling you whoever this person is you're gonna be like wow they just dropped out of the sky because spirit is saying it's time it's time for you to be with them King of Pentacles is somebody who, look, this 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 man could be a woman. This person is ready to build legacy, wealth, abundance. This is somebody that's coming in like we're going to be married. I've been telling you guys, look, and this four, by the time April comes around, many of you, even if you meet this person, it's the type of situation where this person within the first, within the first 90 days, somebody's going to know that they're going to marry you. I've been talking about these fast track relationships for months now. You will be pretty much on the fast track. Like somebody is coming into your life and they're like, listen, you're it. Because this is like your true counterpart and your ancestors have already said yes. They just need to get rid of this past person here who is so obsessive. This past person, this person has been plotting on you and doing all of the worst stuff to you for the longest. And they were working with other people. Okay, now before um, I saw that Queen of Wands, yeah, here she is. The Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. For some of you, like I said, this person, they were actually in cahoots with someone else that they were with and they were both trying to attack you in some type of way spiritually. I feel like this is something that you've been going through for a very long time, but let me tell you, justice is being served. Like this situation here is coming to an end very, very soon. And you, I feel like there's a lot about the situation that's going to be so shocking to you. <laughs> Whoever you end up with, I feel, especially if they know of this person, this person is going to have quite the story to tell you. Like, these people, they know each other some way, somehow. Somebody here knows another person or they know you. Like, somebody has fallen in love with you because... I don't know like I don't know if somebody told them about you or like I said somebody could have been gossiping about you or on some type of slander campaign about you and I see the six of wands now now that you have maybe some of you you know you're um something that you're doing where you're receiving perhaps some type of recognition somebody is like oh wow Everyone lied on you. There's an empress out here who has been lied on. Yeah, eight of wands here. A lot of communication. Death. This is communic this is defamation of character. Yeah, somebody here was hiding a brick and trying to hide, like throwing the bricks and hiding their hand. Somebody here did everything behind your back to try to slander your name. And all it did was it made people see just how much of a star you really are. Ten of cups, six of wands. Ace of Wands. Somebody became obsessed with you based off of the slander of, of the slander campaign that somebody else went on about you. Somebody fell in love with you. Look, King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Emperor. I told you guys too, it's like three different people out here. But this there's a person out here who is spiritually gifted. They may be well off. This is an emperor. This person could be a business owner. Um this person is is protecting you this also could be an an, a male ancestor that you have that's protecting you but no i feel strongly that yeah look somebody is protecting because they feel like you are exactly what they manifested and they're like i'm coming i'm coming to get my baby because somebody lied on you big time somebody told so many lies and look 
I feel like the two of wands, you're turning your back and you're about to take a leap of faith with whoever this king of cups is. You're going, look, three of cups, three of swords. You're about to take a leap of faith with this king of cups. The person that is connecting with you emotionally, energetically, spiritually, you're done. The devil is coming in again to try to throw a curveball and to break your heart. This person is, is out of their minds right now. Yeah. And they feel like they've run out of time. This person with the seven of pentacles, for some reason, someone here is mentally um, <laughs> unstable. Somebody here could definitely have like some type of chemical imbalance or something. Yeah. Somebody, th this is bad though. I'm telling you right now, this is bad. Whoever this is that's sending out all of this bad energy, it's going to backfire. You can see it right here. Three of swords, knight of pentacles, the devil. This could be a Capricorn that did this to you. This person, something happened. They could have addictions and they're rushing towards you. And they feel like that. somebody here is like, well, I don't have anything to lose. So since you don't want to be with me, this is the one who tried to sacrifice you. I don't know what all this person did in the background, but they did a lot. Okay. And honestly, what I'm seeing here, and I'm just going to say it, you know. Mm. I'm going to say exactly what, what I'm, I'm seeing, what I'm hearing. This right here, something is being returned to its sender. This four of wands right here is a celebration of life. There's going to be a funeral here. Somebody that went against you, you're, they're going to fall in the grave that they dug for you. And whoever it is that's supposed to be in your life, they pretty much push that person into your life by lying on you. Something here is hidden. You're going to find out about a lot of this within the next week or so with this, um, maybe two weeks. When this, new, this full moon in Virgo comes, see, Virgo... You have to think about the, the sign of Virgo. And I, I don't like to, you know, be so stereotypical when it comes to zodiac signs. But Virgos are hermits. They study. They're eclectic people. Um, somebody here most likely has studied astrology, natal charts, moon cycles, phases, and things like that. Someone is skilled. They are a, um, this person is like a mastermind, whoever it is. Somebody has been able to connect all of the dots of what has been happening. Some of you, maybe you've been very stressed out. This person, somebody from your past could be sending different things to you because they're trying to hold on to you. It could be affecting your health at this point, or you may feel like at times like you can't get out of the bed. You're just sick. You're tired. This person could be trying to do some type of wound magic to you so that you like can't manifest or for some can't even have kids or something crazy like that. Somebody here has done something very destructive, but I'll tell you one thing. It's going to be returned to sender and somebody's going to be buried because somebody tried to sacrifice you. Just period. Somebody tried to sacrifice you and it is being reversed. It's being returned to a center. You don't have to do anything. Because again, you are an earth angel and you have a, a male ancestor perhaps that's watching over you. And you, these ancestors that's watching you, they have assigned a masculine to you who is also guarding, guiding and protecting you. Somebody here, you have a, a true counterpart that you're going to take a leap of faith with. For some of you, this person, though, that's protecting you, who's coming in for you, they um they can't get that close to you right now. It's For some of you, it's really not safe for that many people to be around you. Because this past person wants to like bulldoze over anything and that comes close to you. They're trying to block everything. Be careful when it comes to your house. The house and the snake card is here. Yeah, look at that sun and then ball and chain. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Leo for sure. Here's the Leo card in this deck. It literally says Leo. And this card has timing. It says for Leo, it says within 7 to 14 days. What did I just tell you? That um, full moon is next Friday. Seven days from today. There's an omen here. Somebody is guilty. They're shameful. They're full of regret. This person is codependent. They wanted to put some kind of ball and chain on you. Somebody here has addictions. This is being illuminated. It's, it's going to be revealed to you who the snake is in your life. And it may be revealed to you because you may be finding out that I'm telling you, this person is going to suffer really bad for whatever they've done. Mm -hmm. This has something to do with someone's home or their family. Someone is, is very obsessed and jealous about the fact that you have peace within your home or your family. This is someone here who doesn't, they don't feel like they belong. And, and I'm telling you, like whoever this is, they feel like they don't have anything to lose. Um, I feel like for many of you, you could have run across someone. This is a very karmic soulmate. Or, I mean, it could be a twin. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I feel strongly that you guys, somebody here, you ran across a person. Oh, my God. I have a reading about that, too. You didn't know that this person had mental health issues, perhaps. You rejecting this person, it pushed them completely over the edge. This person could have a lot of issues around rejection, okay they are very guilty they feel ashamed about some things that they've done they feel cursed this person may have wanted to have like a house or a home with you but because you realize that this person was very deceptive they were jealous that they would stab you in the back you may have sensed that that was the kind of energy that this person had many of you you may not be a leo but you may have that energy of a leo being like the sun where you you have success you're you're excited you're happy you know, somebody also knew that you were connecting with a true divine masculine. They wanted to be your, your counterpart, but they couldn't get themselves together. So this person got stuck in whatever bad cycle that they were in. And I feel like somebody sent something really crazy out to you. I don't know. Like, and I do feel like magic has been involved in this situation. Somebody did a lot. I mean, a, like somebody threw some crazy magic at you or they paid somebody to do it or whatever but this person is like I said, they're very upset about the fact that you have this will of fortune here and look at that king of of water it says cancer the chariot here's a chariot the will of fortune and then here's this card it says dolphins dolphins represent peace harmony you know, dolphins, they, they have a certain way that they communicate as well. They're very playful, very happy. Cancer, um, something could happen in cancer season, but cancers also, you know, it, it represents like the crab. Like So, like, again, some of you don't judge a, a book by its cover because you may meet someone and they seem shy. They seem closed off. They, they may be a little reserved or conservative. They may be really religious or something like that. This person is someone, though, who is very protective. And I feel like this this could even be a karmic soulmate, but a good karmic soulmate that's coming into your life, okay? Um, somebody that can actually help you go to, like, the next level. So for some of you, there's still some kind of lesson that you need to learn. Or there's just, like I said, there's a helpful hand coming in the form of a person to help get you out of whatever this cycle is with this this demon that you've been dealing with. Wheel of Fortune, though, that's karma, that's cycles. Here's the brick. Oh, look, look at that. Mm -mm. You got the bridge, the diamond ring, and the bouquet. Somebody's coming to you to propose. I'm telling you, some of you, your, your forever purse is right around the corner. And this card here says a Celtic knot. And it literally says unconditional love, divine union, eternal love, love of a lifetime. We have here Lily. established there's a person coming to you that wants to establish a very long-term committed relationship with you and then the swans is here networking this person may be telepathically communicating with you but this is like a soulmate a twin flame whoever it is there it's the one that's coming 
it's a very deep soulmate connection and this person i feel is established this person could be very gifted spiritually um something here your story whoever is going through this like your story is going to be one for the books now what i do want to say though is um yeah light bulb is here there's an aha moment somebody's having a major epiphany about a situation the falcon is here you will be able to rise above in this situation scorpio queen of water I, i'm telling you that's that queen of cups king of cups This is the death card. This is a major rebirth. And then this card here says bear. Like mama bear. Oh my God. Y'all listen. <laughs> yeah, bear. You have the empress. It says Venus, goddess of love. What did we just see earlier? I told you guys about that queen of cups and the empress. This is someone very intuitive. This is a true high priestess and an empress. Everybody can see. Oh, oh my God. Here is the emperor card. You guys, I feel like, and then here is the mask. Your emperor is someone who has been around you possibly. This person has been. Oh my God. You have the mask card here and the anchor. I'm telling you guys, your Whoever this resonates with, your divine counterpart has, has been your anchor. This person has been holding back, but they have been in disguise, I feel, pretty much like secretly communicating with you in some way. Maybe through, through birds or music or something this person most likely has seen that you're fighting against something and here's a libra card justice this card also is something within one to two weeks so we have libra energy out here we have the king of fire that could be Aries, but this is the emperor and the justice. Like somebody's emperor or empress or whom, like there's justice that's coming to a connection between an emperor and an empress. But whatever has been standing in between the two, something here is going to get pretty ugly if it hasn't already. But it's one of those things, it's going to be ugly, it's going to possibly be bad, but it's going to clear the path, like, forever. This is breaking like a curse, it's breaking a cycle, it's it's cleansing and clearing your path. You Like, you won't have to worry about this. Not even in, like, the next lifetime. You, you don't have to worry about this anymore. Empress, Emperor, Death, and Justice. And the bear card is out here. Protective. This is something here. It's protected. These two people who are coming together also are going to have great um, affluence. Like these two people coming together. Th this is like divine counterparts of like true twin flames. You and this person, you're going to build like a business together. Or yeah, you're meant to do something together. So whatever is standing in the way of it, it, it has to be removed. Wow. Wow. Look at this. You have the lion card here. The devil. Here's that Capricorn energy. See, this is the person that has been trying to block you. This person has issues with pride and ego. And then you have man, butterfly, and then the broom. And this card says don't need it. See, whoever this person is, some of you it is a Capricorn or an earth sign or it could be a Leo. It doesn't matter. This person is being swept out of it. I'm telling you, somebody somebody's going to like pass away. 
they're going to pass away, they're going to go to jail or something. They're being swept out of your life because they did entirely too much. Mm -hmm. Spirit is saying you don't need this and you're going to feel really good when it's all over. But literally, this may be a situation where metamorphosis is here. Evolution of the soul. Listen, somebody here is, is about to meet the devil who made them or that they work for. Yeah. There's an earth, this obsessed person here. Oh, yeah. They're about to bite the dust. All I keep seeing in this reading constantly is this person. This person is death. That I'm, I'm telling you. And I had a reading months ago where I said for some of you, in order for these new soulmate contracts to come into play, like there's going to have to literally be people who go to jail. And for some death, because some people can go to jail and they can still do magic because they're, they're masterminds. I mean, you don't have to do potions to be a magician. The power of, of the tongue and the mind will blow your mind. It'll blow you away. Whoever this is, this is someone here who I feel is a skilled magician. Spirit is saying, no, they got to go. They have to go because they've caused entirely too many blockages in your life. And then here's the star card. I can't make this up. Tornado and then woman. Ladybug. Divine feminine, you're a star. Your abundant life, and some of you are meant to have a child. Ladybug can speak of the birth of a daughter specifically. Yeah, a daughter. It could be a son for some of you. But you're a star. Or you're supposed to give birth to a child who's going to be a star. <laughs> this card literally says a, a sudden unexpected end. Tornado. Yeah. Something is about to blow up. With whoever this masculine is that keeps playing all of these games, this person has been doing this for a for some of you for years. Yeah, they can't get out of this though. Nope. So, yeah. so yeah, somebody you may be mourning somebody who kept trying to get play a lot of games with you that somebody here they went too far with trying to come up against you trying to hold on to you or to block you so that you couldn't build your own future i feel like you told this person to stop or to leave you alone or some of you i'm literally seeing where you were begging and pleading like with god like please please help me please stop these attacks please your your prayers were heard what now what i will say is some of you you may not be prepared for the fact that the way your ancestors are about to, and guides and God are about to come in and work for you, you may not be prepared for that because some of you, you have, um, you have a certain gift. And I've talked about this before as well. I literally, like when I do reading sometimes as the stories come together, I can remember readings that I've had, like Spirit would just kind of flash it. And I, I said, some of you, you have the gift of um, life and death in your hands. If you have been begging and pleading and, and praying, fasting or whatever for this devil to get off of you, it's about to be removed. Seriously, it's about it, like something is going to be removed from your life permanently. Because somebody, they just won't stop. They just keep going and going and going because they do not want to see you be happy or successful. And I just want to say, I am picking up. This is some type of romantic situation, but don't ever count out the friends, the family, the hidden enemies. There is an energy. There's someone in your life that has done everything in their power and outside of their power to stop and block you, this person is not going to be able to, they, they can't get out of this. Mm -mm. Because it's like, a, it's down to the wire. Some of you, you're supposed to 
go somewhere you're supposed to do. It, it's time. It's your divine timing to do something. And now somebody is playing around and they think that they're God. This person has stepped in and they really feel as though they can somehow um, alter your destiny. So God is like, well, let me let me remind you of who I am. Something just told me to pull these cards. Oh, this is not. Ooh, this person, somebody told a lot of lies. I mean, somebody, they told some big lies on you. Yes, they did. Dang. Spirit, tell me a little more about this person that's in, in trouble. <laughs> Saboteur. Somebody here, look, and gossip, prostitute, detective, Don Juan, judge, and alchemist is here. Look at this, priest, messiah, and storyteller. Oh my, when I tell you spirit has been all through this reading, this is somebody, you guys, who was out here and they may have lied and said that you were a prostitute. This person did a lot of project, like projecting, like negative energy. They... They were telling people that you were one way because that's actually who they were. And again, this, this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a, a old friend, a family member, coworker, or somebody. Somebody, though, has go, been going out gossiping, telling a lot of lies on you, making up these stories. This person has some type of God complex. And they feel like the only way they can succeed in life, honestly, is by tearing other people down. And this person, they learned something. The detective card, this person, like I said, this person, they started to study. Okay, I feel like this person too, they studied something with possible. It's a lot of sexual energy out here. This person could have been doing something like with sex magic, with alchemists out here, Don Juan, the prostitute, and the priest card. This person learned about sex magic or something like that. The detective card here, I feel like this person, what they don't realize though is that everything that they were doing, they were being watched whether they were being watched by an actual detective, but the judge card is out here too, or just someone spiritual. Like I said earlier, for every monitoring spirit that they sent your way, there was something far bigger and greater that was watching them. God, okay? This person, nothing that they did was has gone un unseen, unnoticed, or unheard. This person, like I said earlier, this person knew a lot about you. Because what you may not have known is this person has spiritual gifts. This person may have learned spiritual gifts. At, it, it, I think it was a mistake. I feel like this is someone who, what I pick up, like this person had addictions or something like that. And they could have gotten in a really dark place. As I look at this car, this, this person here, I feel like dark like entities or something like that was talking to this person and and it's like this this person was taken under the wing of the devil this person was childish yeah saboteur this person allowed some demon to to really get in their head and told them everything to do to somehow sacrifice you to hurt you to harm you but like i said god spirit your ancestors, way makers, way shores, they were watching the whole time. They allow a lot of this stuff to happen. You are protected. This person tried to destroy your name. For those of you, especially like if you have a platform or something like because storyteller is out here, if you use your voice or you have a platform, this person tried to create um these lies to say that, you know, the things that you were saying were wrong, that you you weren't coming from a genuine place. However you choose to express yourself, somebody here tried to make you out to be, I mean, a really, really awful person. Yeah, because this person here, they have a, a demon that they couldn't get out of themselves. This person needed some type of exorcism. Eternal child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
th this person was born as some type of demon, honestly. And you probably tried to help this person. Yep, look at that. <laughs> Virgin. Angel. It was an angel and a demon out here. You may have fallen in love with the demon or tried to help this demon. You had a vision. And you saw that this person most likely was some type of victim of something. This person could have had issues feeling as though they were an orphan or something like that. You saw through a lot of this person's pain and you wanted to liberate them. Okay. And what this person did is, or honestly, the devil saw that they could get closer to you being the virgin or the person of light that you are by going through this person. But this person through sex magic or them just being very promiscuous or whatever the case is this person opened themselves up to some really dark energy and i feel like that dark energy told them to start doing things to you yeah artist and magic here this person really thought that it was good for them to start playing around with magic they could have a mother who who knows magic or taught them magic or something like that this is something like in somebody's family too i'm not gonna go we, i've already been here for an hour um th there's a lot going on with this person in their family this person has some real crazy god complex like it's almost like this person was working with some type of demon or entity and they really felt as though they were that that dark force and they tried to destroy you because you're an angel but this person oh my gosh look thief and healer this person wanted your light 111 yeah this person saw you as an angel they wanted you, you were you went to this person to help them they were part of your assignment you understood the assignment they figured because you didn't want them you didn't allow them to drag you to hell with them that they would just go ahead and try and ruin your life. So they started with, you know, defamation of character, lying, sabotaging your name or whatever with this God complex. But uh-uh, that's not going to work. Yeah, you most likely are a mystic, a lover, someone loved by a lot of people. Yeah, somebody here, they messed up bad. That's all I can say. If this has already happened to you guys, it's just confirmation. But for some of you... I'm not even gonna say that because it's all yeah. Somebody here they went too far. Way too far. And I'm telling you when I they there is no getting out of this. Like they can't get out of this. Friend. Friend and sweetheart is here. Child, wife. You maybe you were this person's friend. childhood friend sweetheart child you had a new beginning this person may have wanted you to be their spouse or have a new beginning yeah this is what this is about we've been seeing this energy come you rejected somebody and they lost it somebody here saw you as a very sweet caring kind person they may have said oh i want you to be the mother and father of my children or something like that and you may have said no yeah, you don't want this person to be your lover. And these cards are not in the reverse, but look at this. The wedding card is in the reverse. You, oh my goodness. When I tell you, spirit be coming in my house, moving stuff around all the time. But <laughs> you have the lover card here and the wedding card. Look, none of these cards are in the reverse. None of them. That wedding card in this deck is in the reverse next to lover. Next to friend, sweetheart, child, and wife. You try to be this person's friend. Okay, this could have been someone that you met or someone that you dated. You want to be this person's friend. You are a true sweetheart to them. Okay, they may have wanted more with you. But when you decided that you didn't want to go further with this person, I feel like they snapped. When you was just like, no, I don't, I don't want to be in a relationship with you or anything like that. It drew this, it knocked this person over the... This person, what did I say? This person was like, I don't have anything to lose. I'll take myself out and you too. Death and despair. Pleasure seekers, hope. This person is going to literally, literally 
hang themselves, destroy themselves. This person got into some really risky business. And this sorrow, <laughs> widower, sorrow and fortune with surprise and conversation, doctor, somebody here is going to be sick or ill, is going to pass away. You may have sorrow about this situation for some time, but I'm telling you, this ending is going to unlock all of your fortune. You're going to be paid back tenfold by the divine. Listen, Spirit said, this right here is going to finally make room. This old woman, old woman can represent just something from the past. It doesn't have to be a person. This is something that has been haunting you, like getting in the way. Servant. Yeah. Once this is over, everything is going to unlock for you. I feel like um, in this, this channel message here, for some reason, I feel like this was two different scenarios. Some of you, this is, um, some of you may have two people in your life that's really obsessed with you. Remember, I kept saying there's at least three different people. This really obsessed person who may hurt themselves or get hurt or something like that. I feel like that's one person. Oh, you know how I kept saying there's at least three people. There's two people. The two people who could have possibly possibly been in cahoots, I don't think that a lot of you may not end up with either one of them because one of them is just about going to take themselves out pretty much or end up in jail. And if they were working with somebody else against you, like if, if they tried to send somebody else your way or was working with somebody else, they're both going to be in trouble. One's going to jail and one is going to hell. And the person that you're supposed to be with will finally come in. Oh, somebody is about to clean up house around here. But some like your ancestors are pissed. They're just like, let's just we're, let's clean it out. Just like, no, this is not happening anymore. That just came to me. Some of you, these two people, I'm just like these two people. They, it's something about them. They're connected. If two if two different men or masculines or whatever tried to work against you, or even if it was a couple friends, family, if these people work, one is going to jail and one is going to hell. Period. And they can't get out of it. Because there's a plan here that backfired. I keep saying the three of pentacles. There's two people. Like somebody could have sent someone to you to try to block you, hurt you, confuse you or something like that for their own gain. Some of you, something has already happened to one person. But the one who's running around thinking that nothing is going to happen to them. Oh, spirit is like, no, no, no. I didn't forget about you. Because, see, you was in on this, too. Oh, mm. listen, that dark horse is, has just came out the cage. Seven days, seven to 14 days. Y'all can report back. Let me know. It's two people out here who have been playing games. See, we keep thinking, oh, it's two people. There's one person coming to her. It's two people who both wanted to be with, with a feminine out here, I feel. See, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it now. Okay. It's two different, and I'm going to say it. It's two men who want to be with a woman. These two men were working together at some point. One fell in love with this woman. They, they, they're both in love with this empress, I feel. But one, like I said, had bad intentions and the other one did it. At one point, they both had bad intentions. Let me clear that up. At one point, they both had bad intentions. This could have been two guys who were hanging out or they know each other and they, they just didn't care about hurting women at all. But one person decided, oh, I actually like her. That's the kind of person I would like to be with. Maybe they had an awakening or something. But they still have to pay the cost. For trying to be the boss and trying to actually hurt this feminine. Even if they have had an awakening, they still have to pay for what they did. One, one of these masculines, they went too far. The other one, it's like, oh, wait a minute, I'm waking up now. And they're hoping to be able to get a get out of jail free card. Uh-uh. 
Because, see, somebody was watching them do all this mess to this empress. So, like I said, one is going to jail and one is going to hell. The get out of jail free card isn't going to work. It's, it's cute that you went through your awakening. That's cute. But you still put this empress through so much hell. You have to pay for that. And the other one who feels like they don't have anything to lose, we're not concerned. Because I see the, I see this situation very clearly. And again, if this isn't two, pe two, two men perhaps, or women or whatever, who know each other, this is a couple that did this to an empress. This is a man who teamed up with a, a woman perhaps who was very masculine and they both were obsessed about this divine feminine. I'm getting that stronger right now. For some of you, these two kings that keep showing up in this read in these readings, it's not two men. For some of you, it's a couple. But it could be a man out here who is actually very feminine or dealing with or there's a woman here who's very masculine. Oh, yeah. That's why it's coming out as two kings. This might be a couple. A man and a woman. There could have been a man who got together and with a woman that they chose over an empress. And they went on this slander campaign and they were out to get the divine feminine. They didn't know who they were dealing with though. And see, that masculine, somebody in this duo here is going to hell and the other one is going to jail. And let me tell you, somebody thinks that they're off the hook. I'm picking that up strongly. Somebody really thinks that they are off the hook here. Nope. Spirit is like, uh-uh. <laughs> I didn't forget. I feel like this is something for some of you, this has happened. It may be someone that's already caught up in a situation. You're like, ooh, I'm still going through hell. I wonder why. Because the other part of this, this little duo that was after you is still free. They won't be for long. Nope. Somebody's going, mm, yep. <laughs> somebody is like oh yeah i'm off the hook now because see one person could have already went to jail or gotten sick or something the other person who was in cahoots with them was like yeah i'm free now i'm, I'm free and clear no you're not spirit said uh-uh-uh oh yeah i'm still coming for you queen of swords could have been a um a libra yep I just got it. Y'all, th that's, that's, that's the story. Now, y'all can watch the Dream Clairvoyance channel too because y'all know me and her, we get the same downloads. These two kings that keep showing up in these readings, you guys, a lot of you, this is a couple. I know the Dream has been saying, oh, it's, you know, it's two men, they know each other. No, no, no. I, that, that could be true for some. What I'm getting here today, this is a man and a woman. They both could be bisexual. This could have been like a marriage or a relationship between two people who both are bisexual, trisexual. They come up as kings because one may be biologically male, but could act feminine. And there could be a biological female who actually acts very masculine. These two people, I feel like, a masculine got upset with an empress, got in a relationship with somebody else. They both come out as masculine energies. Whoever this third party is, could be, like I said, this woman became completely obsessed with this empress. And it makes perfect sense with the whole thing about the platform and everything. Whoever this third party is that's connected to your person that you know of, they're watching you. They watch you online. I don't know if you're on Instagram, social media, whatever. They watch you. This person knows a lot about you. The reason why is because they have access to information because of the person that you were previously with. Cell phones, computers, pictures. They have access to you. They have become completely obsessed with you. This is two people who are sick who came together. 
And what I just heard was this is two possible, like, two addicts. It's, I just heard this is two addicts who came together. And they could be addicted to sex, to anything. They're addicted to something. This was a trauma bond between two people who came together and they're doing everything in their power to take you out. And it goes back to the very first channel message that I ever did on YouTube over six months ago where I said your false twin flame and the karmic are doing magic on you. You can go back and you can find that reading. This, this reading was maybe six months ago. It's my very first channel message ever, ever. This is that same situation playing out. Somebody is going to jail and somebody is going to hell. They play with the wrong person. This is finally coming to an end. And a lot of this stuff has been going on since I said around that Lionsgate portal of last year. I told you guys, go ahead and drop those burdens because the spring of 2022, your whole life is going to change. Listen, the most high said, I got one more person to take out. And it's either going to be jail or hell. But this, these two people who have been doing all of this mess to you, they got to go. <laughs> they got to go. Take it however it resonates. Like I said, for some of you, it's a couple. For some of you, it's two, two people who know each other. They're friends. For some, it could be a past lover and a family member of yours. But you got somebody still in your life lurking around that thought they were off the hook. Mm-mm. Nope. Something has been hidden here. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm still thinking about that song, though. You remind me of a girl. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something else that I'm getting right now. Oh, my God. Y'all, this person that some of you may have been with in the past, they may have gotten in a relationship with somebody that looks just like you. Yes, that makes sense now. Now the song makes sense. You remind me of a girl I used to know. This is why I just can't get with you. This person from the past, they got in a relationship with somebody who maybe looks like you or something very similar about you and that person, but they're not the real deal. This person who you were with, they could never really fall in love with that other person because although they that person reminds that you're a person of you, they're not you. That person, that third party person got so mad and upset and obsessed that it's like they have been trying to get rid of you in hopes that it will make somebody love them. This is like some type of obsessive fatal attraction. Y'all, it's crazy. It really is crazy. I really hope that this helps somebody because this is for sure, um, like this is real. It's very clear. You guys are with somebody and their person became obsessed with you because somebody from your past would not fall like fall in love with them. And it didn't matter what they did, how they dressed. They could have had kids together, been married. Somebody, it's almost like somebody tried to take over your life with somebody else, but this masculine never loved them. And so this person is now obsessed with you but this person is obsessed with trying to get rid of you wow somebody's going to jail and somebody's going to hell both of them about to be in trouble they can't get out of this because they went too far and the thing about it is the person who who you were connected with Yeah, like I said, somebody, it could have been them that was the initiator or the person that they were with. But see, if this was a man who went and got with a woman 
and slandered your name and assassinated your character and they were dealing with a witch or something like that and that person they are more at fault because it's their fault so the most high god is saying now <laughs> for this masculine some of you this masculine listen i don't they going to jail or hell i'm telling you and whoever they were with may finally be like oh let me just leave this situation alone now God is like, no, because you were still involved. Everybody involved in this is going down. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm seeing so everybody's going down. And it's like two people. And then this third person that keeps coming up in the reading, somebody is coming in. It's like, that's what I'm saying. If somebody comes in, if you feel like you can trust them and they're like, you know, hang out with me this day or something like that. You may, you may want to because it's, there's an earth angel that's coming to you that's going to, I feel, stop some of you. Like somebody is coming in to protect you right now. It may not be your divine counterpart, but there is an earth angel being sent to you to protect you. You may go out randomly, go out to lunch with somebody one day and what you don't, that may be the day that somebody tries to run you off the road or something crazy. Be very discerning. But something is going down very soon. And if somebody is still doing magic, especially if they try, it's 444. So I know I've been here too long because I said it was 333 earlier. If somebody tries to do something with you right now with this um, full moon in Virgo that's coming up, especially if they think that you know they know so much and they're studying your natal charts or something like that, they're going to send themselves right to jail or hell. Or, or both. They may stop at the jail first, but I'm telling you, they're going straight to hell. I'm telling you. <laughs> I know all my southern accent has come out because this is not a joke. Like, I feel like somebody's grandma right now. Somebody is about to get, somebody's ass is about to be grass. Do you hear me? I, well, listen, y'all get your black dresses out. That's all I can tell you. I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> 444, you are protected. Your angels are around you. But please be mindful of your surroundings. Um, who's calling you, texting you. Reset your phone, your password. Don't judge books. a book by its cover. Some of you, if, if somebody new comes to your life, you need to run from them. For some of you, you need to embrace somebody new. Just be discerning. It's going to be different for everybody, but I'm telling you, like, this is no joke. Somebody knows that they're in trouble. That's why it's so intense. Somebody knows they're in trouble because something that they did is catching up with them now or it's about to. Because somebody is starting a ritual or doing some type of practice or sacrifice now in preparation for this moon, it's going to backfire. And I just heard somebody say, well, you're telling them what they're doing now. No, 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 no. See, you don't understand. <laughs> they already set the intentions. And when you're highly protected, God knows the intentions of those that are coming up against you. So me saying it right now is going to protect the person that needs protection. But whoever set the intention, whoever went and thought that they're going to do anything between now and the full moon next week, they already have decided that they're going to jail or hell. Because see, God already saw it. He already knows. So whoever needs the message to be for their own protection, take it. I keep a lot of messages to myself. I don't have to keep this to myself. Because these people, whatever they sent, whatever they sent up is stuck. They can't run from this. Because the thing about it is, it's not their first attempt. It's not their first attempt. They've done this to you before, and it didn't work. Here they are doing it again. May even be their third time doing it. Third time's a charm. They're going to take themselves out this time. This is a sacrifice. This is, a, yeah, this backfiring. Okay. I love you guys. Um, I know I haven't... <laughs> 
I haven't been posting much, but this download has been coming at me for like the last 48 hours. So I had to put this out. It's a lengthy reading, but I hope that it helps someone. All right. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Always go within so that you never go without. I love you all very much. I'm sending you lots of peace, love, light, prosperity, and abundance. Please be safe, be well, be vigilant about your surroundings um, and, and any type of new activities. Um, but yeah, you guys, you will be fine. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.